Yo, what's happening guys? Coming at you from none other than downforsoundshop.com. In this video, we're gonna be introducing the brand new, all new, just released JP23 version two. But first, All right, so let's get into this. As you know, the JP23 was our very first amplifier that we came out with, or if you didn't know that, now you know. So uh, we went from the JP23, the original version, then we came out with a version 1.5, just changed a couple of things on that, added a plexiglass back, changed some resistors, uh, but nothing too major because we knocked it out of the park from the get-go. But anyway, as time goes, people always are wanting to do better and improve and want better products so what do you do you come out with one that's beautiful and does more power in a smaller footprint so in front of us we have the jp23 version 2 yes it is blue and it is badass this amplifier is about 20 percent we'll just go with 20 percent more power and 20 percent smaller so you're getting more power and a smaller footprint. I mean, who's, who's not gonna love that? And you gotta love that. Uh, every time we come out with new amplifiers and we make revisions to amplifiers, we're trying to make them better. We listen to you guys' feedback and also Big D Wiz that does all of our amplifier dynos. Uh, we listen to his, he does the pros and the cons. And whenever those cons come up, I see it as constructive criticism and I want to try to see if we can fix that. So. Uh, and going from the version 1.5 um, into the version 2, one of the things that he said, or a couple of the things that he dinged us on was a plastic base knob. So we came out with this custom tooled aluminum base knob that looks just like the amplifier heat sink of the JP23 version 1.5. How cool is that? Check that out. So it came out with that. These are gonna come with uh, our newer revisions of, a, of our smaller amplifiers. This is not the Bluetooth model, but we might start doing the Bluetooth model in this style as well. It just takes some uh, doing to make it happen. Anyway, so let's measure the version two. We'll get you this measurement right here. Oh, it's upside down, sorry. Um, so from mounting foot to mounting foot, well, we'll call it 15 inches because uh, of the terminals. So 15 inches wide, whereas the JP23 version one was almost 20 inches wide. So that's about 25% smaller, or shorter, we'll go with shorter. Uh, and the width is the same. So over here, we have close to seven and a half wide and seven and a half wide. So the, the only thing that happened was the new amplifier became shorter, not as long by 25%. And also you got more power. So let's flip this. Well, I'll show you this side of it. Um, man, I feel like, I don't know which side to show y'all when you guys first, I'm like, you want to see the front or the sides or what? So the front side is just like all of our other heat sinks but uh, we did that beautiful blue on there. Uh, people love the JP8 and the JP84 in the blue, and they were like, man, you'll need to do bigger amps in that color. So here it is, a JP23 V2. And over here we have the zero gauge power and grounds, the eight gauge speaker terminals, and I don't know. Okay, that's it on that side. I didn't know if they had the status indicator lights on that side or not. But on this side we have the crossover network. Let's move this back a little bit. So uh, just like all of our amplifiers, you have your uh, status indicator lights here, power protect and clip. You got your gain, subsonic, bass boost, low pass filter, your uh, receptacle for your remote bass knob wire, and then you have your uh, slave and master output switch here. So you can strap these amplifiers together if you would like to. And high quality Tiffany style RCA connections for the win. And on the back side, you know how we do it every time down for sound we always have that beautiful plexiglass 
So you can see what's inside the amplifier. We're not trying to hide anything around here. Got the high flow fan right here. And nice components inside of here. We'll let the dyno do the talking. We're not gonna uh, hype it up too much because we're about performance more than we are hype. Uh, again, this is even, we still are offering this amplifier. Oh yeah, something else. There's so much information in this video. We ordered more of the version 1.5s because some people like the longer style, uh, this style of amplifier because we also, I mean, we've sold over 10,000 of these amplifiers since we started making this exact amp. So we wanted to keep these going. So we did another run, a big run in black and another uh, big run in purple. So we'll have the JP23 version 1.5s available in black and purple. And since we ordered so many of them, we were able to get a better price on them, so we passed that on to you. Ever since day one of this amplifier, after introductory pricing, we've sold these for 350 bucks each, and they sell like crazy. But since we got a better price, we lowered the price on the JP23 version 1.5s to 299 bucks. You're able to get an amplifier with all the bells and whistles, a nice 2000 watt amplifier, a 2300 watt rated amplifier. It actually did 26 or 2700 watts uh, on the dyno, so you're obviously getting more power than what you're paying for, but you're able to get this for 299 bucks shipped inside the continental US, smoking deal. So be sure to stay on the up and up on that. But if you want, so again, we rated the first, the JP23 uh, version 1.5 at 2300 watts. The version two, we have it rated at, you see this right here? You like a little, you like our little sub man here? I know you do. Anyway, on the back side right here, you can see the power rating. 2800 watts is what we're rating this one at, at one ohm. If you know anything about down for sound, you know we always do a little bit of under rating. So, y'all do me a favor and post in the comments below what amount of power you think this amplifier is gonna put out at, at one ohm. Knowing what the JP23 version 1.5 did, what do you think the JP23 version 2 is going to put out at 1 ohm on Big D, Big D Wiz or Williston Audio Labs dyno test he's going to be doing on our JP23 version 2. We already sent him one, so it's, it's in his hands, so we'll see what he does. Oh, one last thing I was just noticed. The other thing that he dinged us on was uh, the lights on the base knob being too bright. And a lot of people were commenting that as well. They were having to put uh, tint over the lights because the status indicator lights on the base knob were so bright. Most people mount these on their dash. So when it's like this, it's like literally shining up in your face at night. So and people would send me pictures just like lighting up their whole cab of their truck or car. So we dim this down uh, right at 50%. So it should obviously show you that it's on, but it shouldn't be blinding you anymore. Still has the uh, voltage, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, your voltage output uh, adjustment knob up here, and it comes with the adjustment screwdriver so you can adjust your um, uh, voltage up here. It doesn't change your voltage that your alternator is putting out, obviously. It just lets you calibrate your voltage to match. If you have like two different voltmeters in your car, you can calibrate it to where both of them match. So anyway, that's the other update. Uh, so to cliff note everything really quick, if you wanted to get to this part, still the same uh, crossover, really similar. So all the features, still the high quality um, Tiffany style RCA connections. We have the zero gauge power and grounds, but we have all this power. I would, we'll just go with 20%. 20% more power in a smaller footprint, making it easier for you to install this and enjoy this half ohm stable and we're able to bring you this amplifier for under 400 bucks when you see what it puts out power wise you'll be like this is a smoking deal 379 dollars for the new jp 23 version 2 in this beautiful blue color so i think we went over everything about these amplifier or this amplifier and i gave you the we brought in the jp 23 version 1.5 so you can kind of see the contrast between the two what it used to be and I've, and like i said we still offer this one but that's the difference between the version 1.5 and the version 2. if you want to save 80 bucks and get a little bit less power but still a great amplifier you can get the jp 23 version 1.5 in black or purple but if you want to get the next level, the newest, latest, greatest amplifier, the JP23 version 2 is the way to go. Appreciate you joining me in another Down for Sound 
I was going to say Facebook video, but uh, anyway, we do a ton of Facebook live videos. So uh, if you are on Facebook, be sure to come check us out on the Down for Sound Shop Facebook page. We do giveaways on there all the time. Anyway, appreciate you joining me here on my YouTube channel for another Down for Sound video. If you need anything from us, be sure to hit us up 702-701-9800. Again, that's 702-701-9800. We are the home of the Down for Sound difference. Guaranteed lowest prices, fastest shipping, best customer service. And we have four different types of same as cash financing on the website under the financing tab. So be sure to check that out and we'll see you in the next one. Later. What's happening guys? If y'all enjoyed all the hot content that you saw in that video, be sure to follow me on YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram under the Life of Price and also Down for Sound Shop on Facebook and Instagram and don't forget Snapchat. I'm JPD4S on there so be sure to check me out there. We'll see you in the next one. Later.